In this video, we're going to look at how to create an alert in JavaScript with yes, no options. So you might already be familiar with the alert function that allows you to put a pop-up in a user's browser that then disappears when they click the OK button. But the alert function doesn't actually return any value and you can see that in the console here in Chrome, we're actually getting an undefined value come back. So what about if you want to ask the user if they're actually sure and then get a yes or no answer and then perhaps put that inside an if statement so you can do something different if the user doesn't want to proceed with the action. Well, we can do that with another function called confirm. This time you can see in our alert box, we've actually got two different options. We've got OK and cancel. And if we click OK, you can see the confirm function returns a true value. If we try that again and click cancel, this time we get a false value returned. So the OK button is equivalent to true and the cancel button gives us a false value back. So we could capture the result of the confirm function into a variable and then we've got it to use in other parts of our JavaScript code. So you might be asking how can I change the OK and cancel text to yes or no or, or some other positive and negative combination of words? And the simple answer is that it really isn't possible to change those values. The exact text that you'll get will also depend on what browser your user is running. And in reality, the browser's built-in alert and confirm dialog boxes aren't really that pretty. And as you've seen, they're not really that flexible. So if you did really want to truly customize that experience for the user, you're probably better off creating your own modal pop-up, which consists of HTML elements and triggered by JavaScript, so that you can customize any of that text and behavior to suit the project that you're working on. But if you're just after a quick confirmation from the user, you can use the confirm function.